and in this ethereal creation and in the ethereal substance of this land and its congress with the orbit of the heavens and the heavens above with the vast spasms of lightning and thunder across all their intervening space here lay the spirits of my mother and father by every stretch and breadth of all that my senses report and to the throne which they serve of each our higher soul and the sovereign kingdom of our psychological and biological communion with every correspondence of heaven and earth. Here they take the currents of their sex and life and life onward. And not to disregard this life and nor to covet it. But only to converse in these quiet hours. with our high heart and the voices that dwell therein among the wind, the stars and the seasons that try our kinship temperate with the expanding and closing distances the very birth and pulse of our longing and our consummation with such an everlasting and illimitable life where lies that harbor from whence we need more, need unmore, no more. Where is the foundling's father hidden? Our souls are like those orphans whose unwedded mothers die in giving birth to them, and the secret of our paternity lay in their grave, and we should there find it. Herman Melville, William Wordsworth, and my family and I'll be damned if any religion eastern or western northern or southern would steal them from this loving temple not for any amount of money not for any vain glory and not for nothing you can be damned sure